Welcome to your weekly airplane news updates. This is the week of February 7th, 2022. And this week we get four stories. Uh, the first one is kind of a big one. Frontier and Spirit are going to be merging. We'll talk about the implications. We'll uh, come back to the F-35 crash that we talked about last week. There was a leaked video that shows the crash and we're going to show you what happened there. We'll also talk about the FAA that is battling the NTSB over, well, over accidents that happen in the space world. And then we'll talk about a Cessna 120 and Cessna 140 uh, uh, airworthiness directive that was uh, published by the FAA. So let's get to it. All right, the first story this week is Frontier and Spirit are merging. If you're not familiar with those two companies, they are low-cost airlines and they decided to uh, announce a merger on Monday. It looks like the transaction is worth $6.6 .6 billion and it's expected to close in Q2 of this year. Uh, the goal obviously here is to expand the reach of both of these low-cost airlines. Uh, they both operate the same type of aircraft, the, uh, the uh, A320 fleet, A319, A321, uh, which makes sense. Right, if you're a low-cost airline, typically they're going to operate the same type of uh, aircraft so that, well, they can keep the cost of maintenance and everything low. The airline stated that they're hoping to add uh, nearly 10,000 jobs by 2026. So if you want more information, we'll put a link down in here uh, for you to look at. The next story this week is a follow-up on the F-35 crash that we mentioned last week. Uh, if you don't remember, the, uh, the, uh, an F-35 crashed on landing on the uh, USS Carl Vinson last month. And what happened is that uh, apparently uh, the, the, the operators on the deck did not tell the aircraft to go around at the right time or too late. And, um, and then eventually what happened is the aircraft collided with the deck, slid and then eventually fell into the water that was in the Chinese Sea. And uh, there was a video that was leaked this week where you can see the aircraft approaching being way too low and then eventually hitting and then sliding. And you can see from the different angle, you can actually see the pilots once it hits that actually ejects from the aircraft. Uh, they were able to recover the, the pilot successfully uh, with a helicopter shortly, shortly after. And uh, everybody was okay, except seven people were actually injured in the thing, but no fatality. So again, if you want more information, you can see the video playing in the background, uh, but you can head out to the article down in here. The next thing is kind of an interesting one. This is a battle between two uh, big agencies in the government, the FA versus the NTSB. Uh, there's a, there's a long standing riff, I would say, between the FA and the NTSB uh, over who has access to what and who has authority over what. Um, and in this case, the NTSB, we mentioned this a couple weeks ago, has put out an NPRM, a Notice of Proposed Rulemaking, so that the NTSB can take over uh, investigating commercial spaceflight accidents. At the moment, the FAA is in charge of that. And uh, the administrator, the FAA administrator, Steve Dixon, wasn't too pleased about it. And he released a statement and he says that the FAA has uh, statutory authority over all aspects of commercial space launch activity and its authority to investigate commercial space launch uh, mishap is well established and codified. He also asked the NTSB administrator, her name is Jennifer Homendy, and uh, they ask her, he asked her to pull the NPRM out and basically say that, uh, well, let us do our job. I think this is going to be interesting to see what happens. I'm sure the NPRM is going to remain. And, uh, and, and by the way, this is a notice of proposed rulemaking. So you have the ability as, a, um, as, as, a, as the public to submit your comment. So you can find it on the Federal Register and submit your comment and let uh, the NTSB know what you think about them investigating space flights. Uh, Personally, to me, uh, I think it makes sense for the NTSB to be involved, right? They're involved in um, train accidents, in some automobile accidents, in uh, airplane accidents. So why not be involved also with, uh, with space accidents? But we'll see where this comes up, th this goes to. Uh, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll be keeping you posted as more information happens. All right, the last story this week is a proposed uh, uh, airworthiness directive from uh, Cessna for the Cessna 120 and Cessna 140S. And this happened after there was a, a weakened aluminum seatbelt bracket that led to a fatal accident in 2014 when the aircraft nosed um, over after 
um, uh, after takeoff and then killed the pilot. Uh, the FAA estimates that uh, there is 2,033 aircraft out there that are going to be affected, and the cost of repair is only $142.75. So uh, not a big deal, but obviously if you own one of these aircraft, uh, something that you want to get checked out, uh, we'll put a link down in the description for the AOPA article so you can find more information about all this. Uh, bonus this week, we have the Super Bowl right around the corner. If you're an airplane pilot or if you're a drone pilot as well watching this, uh, there's a TFR, temporary flight restriction, over the Super Bowl again this year, just like there is every single year. Uh, this is happening in Inglewood, California, over the uh, SoFi Stadium. The TFR is 30 nautical miles uh, wide from the center of the stadium. Uh, it encompasses a bunch of airports. Uh, it also uh, goes from the surface all the way to 18,000 feet. It goes in effect at uh, around 2.30 Pacific on the day of the game. And uh, make sure that you stay away from it, all right? Especially if you're in an actual airplane, unless you want to see uh, fighter aircraft close by. And um, that's not always recommended. And you can find more information, fa.gov slash Super Bowl. Uh, if you want more information about this, actually, we interviewed Kevin Morris, who is the uh, drone guy for the the FAA in our drone show. So if you want to watch that, that's on our drone channel as well. But uh, that's it. That's all I have for you this week. Uh, as always, subscribe, leave your comments, uh, like the video if you liked it, and then we'll see you guys next week.